Are you looking for a little spring and Easter decor? Well, come along and check out what we have to make today. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Check out some of my previous videos and let me know what you think in the comments below. Otherwise, don't forget I try and link everything I used in the description box. And if I can't link exactly what I used, I'll link something as close as I can get. Okay, let's get started. So I had seen a really cute floral piece at Michael's, I think it was Michael's, and it was basically an egg with a flower blooming out of it, which is what we're going to create today. I couldn't find the speckled eggs at Dollar Tree, and I've checked several, so I was able to find these at the Target Dollar Spot. You got the entire carton for only $3, and with an X-Acto knife, I was able to make it cut in half, kind of like it's cracked. So I went ahead and I did that with all the eggs that I'm going to use today. I used four. I cut each egg differently to add some variety. That way they didn't all look the same. It wasn't easy, but it's totally doable. All right guys, so I took the egg and as you saw, I cut it with an X-Acto knife and here are the eggs that I'm going to plan on using. This one's a little bit of a pink color. Well, it's a very pink color, but what I used is the High Performance Semi Gloss in the color Bubblegum. This is a Waverly Inspiration. I tried the fuchsia color, but I wasn't loving it. So I was afraid it was going to turn out the same way, and so I mixed it with a little bit of the ballet slipper in Waverly Inspiration chalk paint. And then for the blue, I just have Pool. These are all available at Walmart. I can't remember exactly how much they are, but I'll go ahead and link them below. For the purple, I mixed a little bit of the bubblegum, and then I used this lavender, which is also a Waverly Inspiration chalk paint. I have one more that I need to paint. I haven't decided what color to paint it yet. I'm leaning toward lavender without the bubble gum just to have a second purpley color in there, but I'm probably gonna let my girls decide, so it might end up, you know, who knows what, yellow or something. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take some floral foam and I'm just gonna cut it. So I have a couple pieces to stick right inside the bottoms of these. And for the top pieces of the egg, I'm not gonna do anything with those. They're just gonna be to sit next to it for show. So it's only going to be these bottom parts that are going to have the floral foam. Next I took some Spanish moss and mine is from the Dollar Tree. Spanish moss is always going to create at least a little bit of a mess, but I pulled apart a little bit and you can hot glue this in, but I didn't. However, I did glue the floral foam in that's going to hold our little floral pieces. For the pink egg, I wanted to make sure I was able to use this pink flower that was in one of my grandma's brooches. I just felt like it was a sweet way to keep the memory of her alive in our family. Since I did pink with pink, I decided to do purple with the purple egg and blue with the blue egg. Although I didn't have any blue flowers on hand, so I decided to make that a sprout, and I'm really glad I did. I really love how these turned out. If you're going to have these on a shelf sitting by themselves, what you might want to do is take the top part and stabilize it by gluing it onto the bottom part so that it stands up on its own. However, I'm going to have these setting against other pieces of decoration, so I'm not going to do that step. And here's a look at our final project. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments below what was your favorite egg. And I can't wait to do another craft next week. Bye-bye!